What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Coach Chris, with Desire for Iron Fitness. Thank you for coming on board today. I want to talk to you about a book from Dr. James Antonio and Seen Land, The Obesity Fix. How to beat food cravings, lose weight, and gain energy. It's a very easy read. I highly recommend buying it. I got the Kindle version because it was $9.99. The paperback version is $32.99. I'm going to put links in below for the Amazon where you can get it. Well, I'm going to put the Amazon link below to get it. Again, I highly recommend it. All right. I've read some of Seen Land's work before. And look, everybody has something that you're going to agree with and some things you might not agree with. All right. And I would say with Seen Land, I probably agree with maybe 85 to 90 percent of the things that he said. And this particular book with Dr. James Nicolantonio, I would say I agree with about 97 percent of stuff that's going on in there. All right. And here's the caveat to that. Whether I agree with it or not, I'm sure Dr. James is a much more intelligent man than I am. So I would look, read what he has to say, divulge it, read it again, read it a couple times. That's how you really learn from some of these textbooks. I mean, it's not a textbook in the same sense of like a college book, right? But it's a textbook. It's something you're learning from. So read it. Then maybe go over it again, something like that. What I love about this book is how he's talking about a lot of the things that are affecting our society weren't affecting our society say back 50, 60 years ago, because we didn't have these types of things in our food supply, all right? And probably even before that, there were other things that weren't in our food supply that were affecting us. Obesity isn't just because people are eating too much food. You're eating too much food because the food that you're eating is addicting. And I'm talking like heroin, cocaine addicting, not like, oh my gosh, I would really like to have another Twizzler. It's, holy shit, you're craving some food that you body shouldn't even be taken in. So the premise of the book is basically eat whole foods, eat whole meats, eat whole fish, eggs, nuts, berries, fruits, vegetables, and everything else. I have a little bit of an issue, not an issue per se, but as far as my dietary guidelines, what I would prescribe somebody, at least most people who are dealing with you know, metabolic problems from eating too much shit, is I would pull you away from even the fruits and the starches for a very long time. They don't necessarily do that. But again, I don't, I'm not going to say that they're wrong for saying that. I'm just saying that I personally don't go down that road. All right, I have a much more lower carbohydrate protocol for my clients and for myself. It seems to work really well. However, comma, pause for effect. If I had a client eat a sweet potato once every other week or something like that, I'm certainly not going to jump down their throat because having a sweet potato is a hell of a lot healthier than having like a chicken pot pie or lasagna or something else with all of that processed enriched flour that's designed to make you fat and to kill you. All right. They get deeper into the book by talking about how it's like, look, the companies that are making your quote unquote food, and then the other side of the industry that's supposed to be taking care of your quote-unquote health may not, they're not saying that it's a direct accusation, but it seems like all evidence points to maybe they don't have your best interest at mind as far as you being in optimal health. As far as the pharmaceutical company is concerned, if you don't need them for anything, they're not making any money. I can attest 100% right now that when I was giving my money to the pharmaceutical company. It wasn't like they were reaching out to me going, hey, Chris, we saw that you're on these different blood pressure pills and these different cholesterol pills. We wonder how we can help so that you don't have to be on them anymore. Granted, that's not necessarily their job, but at the same time, if they really cared about your health, maybe they'd want you to do something more than just have to be reliant on their pills to stay healthy and never get healthy anyway. If you simply follow most of the guidelines in this book, I think you would have a much better control of your health than if you just relied on medicine alone. All right, basically it boils down to exercise three to six times a week with resistance exercise as far as their book is concerned. I think six might be a little bit too much, but hell, six is hell of a lot better than zero, okay? Get some cardio on a regular basis, if not daily basis. They don't say use cardio for weight loss, which is something I've learned over the years. Cardio can is a tool to use for weight loss, but it shouldn't be what you use for weight loss. It should be what you use to be healthy, let your organs work better, let your heart work better, let your mind work better. Heck, let your soul work better, man. There's not too many things I feel better after having a nice long walk, communion with God, okay? Get outside, enjoy that 
yellow orb in the sky, okay? It's like a sun, it's like a, what do you call it, like a tanning bed, but it's free. Try that out, it's really cool. Um, and, and look, if God doesn't make it, you don't need it. That's really the biggest thing I took away from this. I did also take away, there are some very good points to the ketogenic diet that they will discuss in there. They talk about time-restricted feeding, otherwise known as intermittent fasting. And they also talk about having smaller meals throughout the day. One thing you're going to learn throughout your life is that most people really aren't that different, especially biologically. All right, But we do have, a lot of us do have, even our mindsets aren't that different, but we are different in some regards as far as our psyches. I think the way Chris Crowley thinks. There's probably not too many things you and I think differently on, but there's probably at least one or two things that we think differently on that makes us somewhat unique. All right? For me, time-restricted feeding and intermittent fasting seems to work best for me. I have done the smaller meals. I've done the time-restricted feeding. With time-restricted feeding, the one problem I've had in the past is binge eating after finally breaking my fast because I'm starving and I'm ready to just eat everything under house and home. And when I'm not counting my calories, I'm thinking there's absolutely no way I'm going to have more than, you know, say 2,000 calories. Well, shit, once I started to learn how to count calories, I could have 2,000 calories in 20 seconds. I mean, that's not a lie. All right, so... Time-restricted feeding or whether or not you have smaller meals throughout the day, you still have to stay in a caloric deficit to lose weight. You have to stay in a surplus to put on weight. But if you're going to put on weight because you're a bodybuilder or something like that, perhaps you don't need to put on a shit ton of weight. All right? Trust me on that. The super excessive amounts of fat that you're going to put on for maybe the half a pound of muscle is not worth it. So learn how to be in just a small, uh, I'm sorry, surplus to put on muscle and learn how to be in a small deficit to lose weight properly and not go after your muscle. Again, I highly recommend this book. I would give it a 4.9 out of 5 stars only because I wish they were more ketogenic zealots like myself. <laughs> Otherwise, look, seriously, folks, excellent book. Highly recommend that you get it, all right? I would be honored to have either one of these men on my show, if not both of them, and really dive deep into all of this stuff. But you owe it to yourself to get this book, all right? Be sure to like this channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to share all this stuff with your friends. AlphaLion.com. Be superhuman. I use their products, especially their whey protein supplements. For me, whey protein is something that really messes with my gut if I don't get the good quality stuff. Yes, they are a little bit more expensive than some of your other brands, but there is a saying out there, you get what you pay for, right? Get what you pay for, buy this stuff, get gains, not gas, all right? Use checkout code Desire for Iron for 10% off. Enjoy it. Please be sure to leave a comment below. Check out some of these other videos. I love you. God bless you. It is time for you to unleash your champ.